We're here. Okay, I apologize. Anybody listening, if you can give me some tips on Skype, I don't know why it's doing this in my headphones, but at least it's not doing that out on the airways because everyone says you guys are coming in clear. And I want to thank both of you guys for being on too because literally since you guys been on, I'm showing that not one listener has dropped off of the station. So I definitely appreciate that. Everybody is definitely tuning in and live in the chat. So, okay, so we got about, uh, I want to say, eight nine minutes left was there anything else that you wanted to jump into or anything important you think we should discuss that that went on at the convention um well i just thought i could we could give a few tips on what some a few couple things you know we learned from saturday Uh, yeah please um you know we had five after five hours of the convention being continued outside um you know it's properly adjourned we got all the order of business for the convention completed you know we could have just railroaded through this stuff like like they tried to do um, inside the convention hall, but we didn't. We took our time and went through everything, followed the rules, did a roll call vote, um, you know, and it took time, but we had to do it right. And, uh, you know, a few tips would be I'd insert with you are going to a convention, I would insist on making sure people follow the rules. And if you have the numbers, don't allow changes to the credentials report because this only causes room for delegates to be added without any approval. And if people... It would need to be have by um, be done with a vote, anyways. Um, but this just allowing that little bit of ch- a slippage room allows for people to continue to change things. Like it was only supposed to be 22 people added, there ended up being approximately 200 people added, and I don't know why. Um, so you know, be con- be prepared to continue the convention in the parking lot if the convention is not followed by the rules. Um, bring a megaphone with you to the convention. So you are prepared. We bring a sleeping bag. A <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might as well bring, <laughs> bring it all. Cause I was, when I saw you guys out there, I was I was thinking about after seeing Nevada, Maine, and you guys, I'm, I'm going to make sure I got batteries. I got everything because who knows how long we're going to be out there. Exactly, yeah. And uh, we had we went for a little while without having any sort of speaker system, and so it was hard to hear. You know, we are all several hundred of us trying to hear without a speaker system, but you know it it, it works still and shout out um, to uh to everyone that that was watching and then you know thank you Surya, for doing the film and everyone that sent you guys the pizzas i know you guys uh definitely yeah, needed that, was, that that was awesome to see everybody on camera yeah we uh, uh we were all really tired and starving and <laughs> standing outside <laughs> for hours at, with a threat of storms but uh you know we persevered so it's, it's not following the rules and doing it right you know Oh, yeah, man. you need a uh, lots of video cameras. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We're, I'm gonna try to make sure I got the live stream set up on my end because I'm in I'm in California, so you know it's gonna probably be crazy over here. So if I can make <laughs> it, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to do uh, the live stream. But yeah. uh, you know we got to get that out there. Everyone on the U stream was chatting like crazy. Everybody was involved. I know I was watching it. It's like it's like watching pay per view or something because you don't know what's gonna happen. You know, you're seeing <laughs> it live while it's going down, and it's just. It's crazy to watch. Did you guys see the news? Did you guys see the news clips of the, what happened? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it's amazing. The, the mainstream media don't pick up on this. We got people that's hitting our people, punching yep. them. Yep. Yeah, and, you know, another thing that would be good to remember is get non-delegates to come volunteer and help with the live stream, help with your check-in table, help with whatever they can. That made a huge difference for us. When my sister, Saria, was able to do the live stream, if I had been, had to do the live stream... There's no way I would have been able to do it because I am a delegate. Um, So having non-delegates there who can help is a big makes a big. Okay, now if you're a non-delegate, maybe this is different in every state. But does that that, do you still have to be Republican, or it only matter who you are? Just you can. Uh, It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who they are. It normally, from what I understand. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, I will say that if it. If the uh, convention does a voice vote or a standing vote, delegates are, or non-delegates are not supposed to be in the room, from what I understand, because that it can throw the vote off. Um, so you keep that in mind. But if they follow things according to the rules, um, those things may be done with a roll call vote anyways, especially in the election of delegates. So, Man, wow. So how, how was it uh, the next morning when you guys uh, was all said and done? Um, it was invigorating and inspiring <laughs> <laughs> to be there with so many people sat- all day Saturday. You know, people had, were so exhausted, and but and to see all the support from people who are watching the live stream, um, it was very inspiring. It's an, really neat to be able to be on this journey with everyone. Yeah, I went to the UCLA rally out here when Ron Paul came. And I try to tell people, you can't pick this up on the Internet. You can't watch it on TV. you got to be there. 
Because when you're there, the energy, everybody, like-minded people who are, are, who are thinking the same and we want to end the Fed, end these wars, you know, stop the, the IRS, all these things. When usually we're all around a bunch of sheep, I'd be out here doing tabling events and it is sad how many people out here just totally don't know what's going on, never heard of Ron Paul or think he's a joke or think he's racist. And so we got a lot of work to do, and I appreciate you guys out there fighting. Now, I know you have a website or a web page. I want to make sure you get your stuff out there so people can check you out or if they have any more questions to get in contact with you. Um, yeah, the, the Ustream channel. Uh, well, well, which one is it? Or oh, the, the, web. No, I think you said you wrote a four-page or something like that. Didn't you write something explaining what, what went down and everything? Yes, I did. It's not on a website yet. Oh, okay. Um, we're still. I'm still working on kind of uh, some of that kind of stuff. But um, anyone can go to my uh, Facebook page. It's facebook.com slash Kadosha Fish. I believe or just look me up Kadosha Fish. It's Q A D O S H Y A H, and that's fish. And the last name Fish F I S H. So my phone number's on there, and uh, you know you can get a hold of me on there, and I can be happy to answer anything else. Yeah, I would recommend, uh, since because you, you knew a lot of exactly what went down, you gave a good visual, uh, you should uh, hit up Ben Swan, get up on Reality yes. Check. I plan to. Yeah, that that would be awesome. Ben, he's the only one fighting for us, man. He's like the Ron Paul of the media. But, uh, I know. You know, <laughs> it, we need somebody. <laughs> yeah. So, and I do, I, do you want to mention... You, when you guys go, when people go to conventions, you need to make sure you have leaders who know the rules and are willing to act because that's really what let us have success on Saturday night. So. Okay. Well, that's great. I definitely appreciate it. Yeah, we got about probably like another minute and a half, so I just want to remind everybody that's listening, Jake Peters, who was your guys' chairman, right? Am I saying that right? Yes, he was the newly elected chairman. Newly elected chairman that was outside running things like a boss. He's going to be here tomorrow. Uh, probably at 4 o'clock. And if you guys ever have any updates, anything comes up, any other witnesses of something else that we didn't talk about, you're more than welcome to come back anytime. You know, just hit me up on Facebook. I always tell my guests, you know, you can come on anytime. Let me know what's going on. Well, thank you very much. All right. Well, I appreciate it. And uh, you guys take it easy. And, yeah, just stay in contact with me on Facebook. All right. Thanks for having us. All right. Thanks. All right, guys. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. So, yeah, we're coming up to the end of the show. Don't forget, again, tomorrow, Jake Peters will be on at uh, four, probably 4 o'clock. I'm, I'm thinking that'll probably be a time we'll get him on Eastern Time. And uh, don't forget, I'm on every day, Ron Paul Radio, 10 to 12 noon Eastern Time and 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And I want to thank everybody that was checking us out, people in the chat. I know we had some new people tuning in. Uh, definitely appreciate that. It looked like we had a steady uh, set of listeners in on the show today. So, yeah, you guys get in contact with me on Facebook, Paco Elijah is two words, Paco Elijah, or on Twitter, Occupy the MSM, and on YouTube where I go and post my clips, try to get most of them up there, uh, Paco757. And don't forget, Ron Paul has not dropped out. Don't let nobody tell you that. The game ain't over. It's only begun, and they know that. They want us to quit before it starts, and we can't. We got to become the media. We got to occupy the media, and... uh you know, be, get him in office. Take over the White House. Ron Paul will be president. As far as I'm concerned, we don't really have no other option. You know, if he's not president, it's going to be looking like that convention everywhere. <laughs> We're going to have all types of fraud going on with everything. Just getting robbed left and right, which like we are now. But anyways, I want to thank you if you're tuning in. Stay tuned to RonPaulRadio.com. I'm Paco, your host. You're listening to Occupy the Media. Dr. Ron Paul, more than 4,000 babies delivered, a man of faith, committed to protecting life. This whole notion of uh, life not being valuable just is something I was never able to accept. I happened to walk into an operating room where they were doing...